This video is not for kids. This may contain cussing, suggestive themes, and or triggering topics. Anything said in this video is alleged and not to be taken seriously. This video nor channel does not promote or encourage illegal activities. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is as use permitted by copyright statute. That might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tip the balance in favor of fair use. And warning again, the following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossips and Truths, and later on my Patreon, I'm sure. What really happened with Kim? Let's talk. North Korea's tubby tyrant Kim Jong-un is fighting for his life after an assassination attempt engineered by his cruel and calculating sister. That's the word. That's the word of the intelligence sources who exclusively leaked that the iron-fisted dictator was forced to undergo life-saving surgery after an assassination of a deadly poison that caused his heart to fail. And the prime suspect behind the plot is the woman he trusts more than anyone else on the earth. Oh yes, his sister. It seems that the Betty boss man's sister, Kim Yo Young, is a senior member of the ruling Workers' Party of Korea and is considered the most powerful woman in North Korea. Mm -hmm. According to a 2019 National Interest Investigation, aka NI, and international experts believe she has the most to gain from her brother's death. You see, Kim family has ruled the secretive communist country for the past seven decades, with Young Moon, who is now 36 years old and taking over in 2011, following the death of his father, Kim Jong II, and whoever has gotten in the way of the power hungry ruler has paid with their lives, literally. Oh yes, Young Yoon himself allegedly ordered the 2017 murder of his half-brother, Kim Yong Nam, who died after a nerve agent attack by two female assassins at a Malaysian airport. Oh yes, these Korean rulers are gangsters. So after Young Moon orders the death of his half-brother, he also assumed the role of a full-fledged James Bond villain when he reportedly executed a general by having him toss into a tank of bloodthirsty piranhas. Oh, I'm not done yet. His sister, Yong Yong, who's said to have played a key role in both assassinations along with many more, that she's gotten away with, oh yes. I mean, she's front and center and complicit in its abuses. You see, Yong Yong, who's 31 years old, has served as chief of staff and chief advisor to her older brother and polished his image in her role as a director of the country's propaganda department, mm -hmm. according to the NI report. So she's like the PR to Kim, you see. However, the siblings had a falling out last year when President Donald Trump walked out of a peace talk with Young Moon in Vietnam and the dictator blamed his sister for the public humiliation. and. They had a huge fight, oh yes. Anyway, they apparently made offenses because she was reinstated to country governing last month, but insiders said her demotion demolished her trust in her brother and she later learned no matter how much faith and power he places in her, it can always be taken away. So it was reported that she did exactly what her brother would do. She tried to have him eliminated and take the power for herself, oh yes. It would be the first time this has been done within this family. It reminds me of a story in the Bible about, you know, what does it look? And also brothers, Cain and Abel, the children of the first parents, Adam and Eve. You'd be surprised what this story will foretell. During the birth of man, God suspended the laws of incest. Therefore, it was possible for Adam and Eve to have children who can marry each other and have their own children. But before we even get to the second generation of Adam and Eve, we find trouble with the first. Cain and Abel were brothers, the children of our first parents. Abel was devoted to God and made many offerings to him, particularly his prized fatted sheep. Cain also made many offerings, but extraordinary fond of meat, offered fruit instead. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, who conceived and brought forth Cain, saying, I have gotten a man through God. And again, she brought forth his brother, Abel, and Abel was a shepherd and Cain a husbandman. And it came to pass after many days that Cain offered of the fruits of the earth gifts to the Lord. And Abel has also offered first thing of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord has respect, had respect that it showed his acceptance of sacrifice is coming from the heart full of devotion. 
and that as we suppose by visible tokens, such as sending fire from heaven upon his offerings to Abel into his offerings. But to Cain and his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was exceedingly angry and his countenance fell. And the Lord said to him, what are you so angry? Why is that countenance fallen? If thou do well, shalt thou not receive. But if thou shalt not send forth, be present in the door. But the less therefore all shall be under thee, and thou shalt have dominion over it. He convinced his brother to check out the newly laid fields and Willis rollicking amongst the elkhorn wheat, the original wheat that doesn't cause obesity crisis, pulled out his sword and shoved it firmly into his brother, who unfortunately had his back to him. Cain rose up against his brother and slew him. So he killed his brother because he was angry and jealous. Idols do not like competitors, period. And then there's Jehoram and Abimelech the son of Jeroboam, who killed his family. This story is sick, but it pretty much speaks on how people act today. Cain and Jeroboam deserve a place on the list of idols and people who does crazy things for that particular title. Without a doubt, but if they are here, so should Abimelech. He didn't kill one brother. He didn't kill six brothers, he killed 70. Yes, this isn't a type where he murdered all but one of his brothers. Clearly, his father, Jeroboam, had a lot of spare time on his hands. And Abimelech, the son of Jeroboam, went to Sikkim to his mother, brethren, and spoke to them. And to all the kindred of his mother's father, saying, Speak to all the men of Sikkim, whether it's better for you that 70 men, all the sons of Jeroboam, shall rule over you or that one man shall rule over you. And with all consider, and I am your bone and flesh. And his mother brethren spoke of him to all the men of Sikkim, all these words, and they inclined their hearts after Amimelech, saying, he is our brother. And they gave him 70 weight of silver out of the temple of Barith, whereth he hired to himself men that were needy and vagabonds, and they followed him. And he came to his father's house in Ephraim and slew his brother, the son of Jeroboam, 70 men upon one stone. And there remained only Jotham, the youngest son, and Jeroboam, who was hidden. So anyway, after butchering his brothers, the local city folk declared him king, not surprisingly. And you can find this in Judges 9, chapter 1st through the 5th verse. So you ask, what do people do to be idols? You can watch the rest of my Patreon, the link is below. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. Love you all. Bye.